door reference and the amount you wish to pay. Then enter your PIN to confirm your payment. Once your payment has been made, you'll receive a confirmation SMS of your payment. If you're a first-time payer, you get another SMS for your TV license. So legalize your entertainment from the comfort of your home. Pay your TV license the easy and convenient way with MTN Momo. Everywhere you go, MTN. Good evening, dear viewers, and welcome to the News Bulletin at 8, brought to you by a number one news provider, Eswatini TV. I am Nandomiso Vilagate, alongside Za Manz Manze, and here are your top stories. His Majesty King Mswat III has returned from the United Kingdom. The Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini says the Peace Corps volunteers have helped the country in the fight against HIV and AIDS. The Minister of Education, Lady Howard, has appreciated the partnership that exists between the Ministry of Education, European Union and UNICEF as it yields positive results. The news in detail. His Majesty King Mswat III has returned from the United Kingdom. His Majesty arrived at King Mswat III International Airport accompanied by Nkoskat Magalambigiza. His Majesty the King jetted back into the country after concluding his working trip to the United Kingdom, where he witnessed the coronation of King Charles III in London. On the eve of the coronation, the King participated in the Commonwealth Leaders' Summit, where leaders from the Commonwealth's 56 member states discussed issues of mutual interest, including initiatives to support the empowerment of young people. The King also met with the Commonwealth Secretary General Patricia Scotland. The nation extended a hearty welcome to the King as soon as His Majesty touched down at the King Mswati III International Airport. The King observed the singing of the national anthem which was followed by the inspection of the Guard of Honor. <laughs>
with greatest respect and honor, the nation extended a warm welcome to the king. His Majesty the King was welcomed by Emakosigati, their Royal Highnesses, Bantra Benkosi, the Prime Minister, chiefs, various councils, delighted members of the public and warriors who belted out in Abaganofula. <laughs> His Majesty says the crowning of King Charles III was a historic event that was celebrated by tens of thousands of Britons. On the news, I'm Sandy Lemakanya reporting from Lutitini Royal Residence. The Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini says the Peace Corps volunteers have helped the country in the fight against HIV and AIDS. The Prime Minister has been speaking during a swearing-in ceremony of the volunteers on Wednesday. The Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini has welcomed to the Kingdom eight United States Peace Corps volunteers. Speaking during the swearing-in ceremony, where he was represented by the Minister of Health, Lizingos, he said, Peace Corps has played a significant role in supporting the kingdom in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Peace Corps, as you heard, first came into Eswatini in 1969, and the program was closed in 1996. However, as a government, we could not allow something so beautiful to die. Hence, we made a request to our U.S. partners and the program was reviewed in 2003. This time, it was to assist with HIV and AIDS prevention efforts, working hand in hand with rural communities across the country. To date, 1,859 volunteers have served Eswatini, joining some 240,000 who have served uh, the world. The volunteers were sworn in by U.S. Ambassador to Eswatini, Almila. This oath formalizes your commitment to Peace Corps service. I, state your name, I, do solemnly swear or affirm, do solemnly swear or affirm, I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies. Brian Ledge spoke on behalf of the volunteers. You have our commitment to assist and to serve the people of Eswatini and a promise that we will leave the communities in which we work stronger and hopefully happier than when we first arrived. The eight volunteers will carry out people-to-people -people public service and citizen diplomacy at the local communities for two years. Reporting for Eswatini TV News, I'm Samgal Suekoza, Wetsi Kumbuzo, Lamini, Esulini. The Minister of Education, Lady Howard, has appreciated the partnership that exists between the Ministry of Education, European Union and UNICEF as it yields positive results. 
The minister was represented by the Under Secretary in the Ministry, Lungelo Nlengetfa, during a tour of the newly renovated structures that at Mzimbofu that were destroyed by a cyclone a couple of years ago. A storm that wreaked havoc in 2021 at Gululameni left most parts of the school roofless and damaged. Learners were forced to stay home during the process. The European Union and UNICEF, as well as the Minister of Education, renovated the damaged structures. The school's principal, Elliot Shongwe, applauds the joint partnership of the three. The Minister of Education's representative, Lungelon Sengaitfa, says this is a true partnership and there's a need to strengthen the rollout of in-service training for teachers to ensure the environment is conducive for learners with special needs. The EU ambassador Tesislava Chumilova and the UNICEF deputy representative Afshin Parsi say learners with disabilities need their support and love. We have been working with the Minister of Education. The Minister of Finance was very kind to support uh, uh, micro projects with money. So there should be the funds to continue with the repair works. We are going to uh, implement a bigger program which has different elements. For example, uh, one of the ways that you can uh, reduce disability is by, its, by early detection of disability. They say they will continue supporting the school as more support is needed. Reporting on MKNMC with Smova Shonwe, M. Zimbofu. The House of Assembly has adopted the Wexman, the Wexman Compensation Bill of 2022. The bill will see members of the Umbu Treswat in a defense force added to the list of civil servants who will be compensated. Chairperson of the Ministry of Labor and Social Security's Portfolio Committee at the House of Assembly, who is also the Nzingeni Member of Parliament, Lutfo Lameni, has moved that the Honorable House adopts the report of the Portfolio Committee on the Wexman's Compensation Amendment Bill of 2022 where he was seconded by Sitobeloni Member of Parliament, Peggy Jedlamini, to motivate the motion. The Inyeles introduced to change the Labour Commission to change the social security, so the Veleti Sechendo and Compensation Commission, the start rather, the Gungle Gutsi, the as it is, the exclude the Masocha. What we have done now, we have removed the exclusion of Masocha. Look, Shogu Gutsi, Emma Socha now pass along the to say that our corner now would say a compensate like the other security forces. Look, fear of them, Nancy, a cool long look would see La Labeba Soloba Seventa Lum Shalins. The workmen, workmen's compensation, low SRIC Abaga Sebata Salate, would see Abegung and Alabang. Members of the Honourable House, including the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, Princess Milane, debated the committee's report. Naming to Musalona, the committee based Sebenda, Lum Sebendi, Kwebutsi, Banage, Bakumpule, Fenis Weli, Fegutsi, Abeselele Emuva, Kutsi Nobe, Akhtola Galatingo to Kwanzas. Se go to Sibau Kala Babe, a Babe Bani, Babe Bani, a Seatumisa Gakulu, and Konsis. After the request by the Minister of Labor and Social Security, Pilap Telezi, of having the Honorable House constitute itself into a committee of the whole House to pass and consider the bill into an act, the Minister then appreciated the support of the House. Sibonga in Leong and Elhovis Lako, Konsis Nabuklak Wong, Gwendalum Seven Bay in Bumelel, Yim Seven Lemi Lele. Umdula Tandaza works to serve as a massa to see born a woman called a bio. See born a foot to look for a parliament. A way improving a timber to a massa in Kansas. The House of Assembly then adopted the committee's report together with the Worksman's Compensation Amendment Bill of 2022. Reporting for Eswati TV News, I am Samgal Suekoza with Sukumbuzo Lamini, Parliament. 
A Swadin Investment Promotion Authority head of trade Bongani Njangasa says in order for small and medium enterprises to grow, they should produce continuously and further produce products that can compete in international markets. Njangasa said this during a workshop that is organized by Women in Trade Development on Export opportunities for producers, especially small and medium enterprises, and the coordination of trade support. The export opportunities for producers, especially small and medium enterprises, and the coordination of trade support services workshop is organized under the theme Shine and Sell to the World. Women in Trade and Development founder and executive director Seven Zilelamin unpacks the purpose of the workshop. What is important for women-led enterprises to understand is that we need to know about the preferences of consumers in the foreign markets and also know about the trade-related laws and policies. That's what an investment promotion authority head of trade, Bongan Changas, empowers small and medium enterprises on ways to stay relevant in international markets. You must be competitive, your pricing must be competitive, your packaging must be competitive, and you must aim to be a low-cost producer. Make sure that you produce your products at the least possible cost so that you are able to price yourself um, within the acceptable prices, price ranges. Fazile Lope speaks on behalf of business people who attended the workshop. She calls upon elderly people to allocate land to the youth so they could start their businesses. Lengutfolile umhlaba unemali sibandla basha. Nangabe baba lesi declined. Utfole mbamba lo declined unetiseke. Kango director is represented by Edim Kachwa. Mkachwa challenges the participants not to only produce for consumption but also for exporting their products. For Eswatin TV News, Fortune Langamanta. Mfumiko Sinzi Nisa Mazini. The RSTPC Ovumile Lamini says regional entrepreneurship competition will help the country lessen the SACU receipts dependency. The CEO has been speaking during the SWAT in his Innovation Bridge Portal pitching event on Wednesday. Since the beginning of the week, the Innovation Bridge Portal, in partnership with the World Bank, has been hosting a multi-day pitching event for entrepreneurs from Botswana, Lesotho, Namibia and South Africa. The Innovation Bridge Portal team held the pitching event in Eswatini on Wednesday in an event that was officially opened by the Royal Science and Technology Park CEO Vumile Lamini, who was represented by the company's legal advisor Nompumele Londlela. We are confident that this program will foster positive change and bring about a brighter future for our country. Such initiatives further align with the call by His Majesty for the Youth to play a big role in the country's economic development and the diversification of our economy to reduce our reliance on the SACO receipts. World Bank's private sector specialist, Ganesh Razagam, touched on the objective of this initiative. Uh, the objective is to really support um, young entrepreneurs or, or early stage businesses to provide them uh, with uh, more impactful support services and access to early stage finance. The winner of the pitch will get funding and further represent the kingdom in another pitching event for Southern Africa's most promising entrepreneurs. Reporting for Swatini TV News, I'm Samgal Suekosa with Sikumbu Zotlameni, Babane. The Centre for Financial Inclusion and the Ministry of Education have been capacitated on financial literacy inclusion into the curriculum. The training was facilitated by a floaton at the Mountain View on Wednesday. The training comprised of the Minister of Education, the Centre for Financial Inclusion and Afflaton who had come to capacitate them on the inclusion of financial literacy in schools in all levels from primary, high school and tertiary level. Prudence Mnisi, the CFI Manager for Financial Inclusion and Strategy says the main aim is to ensure that learners grow with the financial skill. For us as the Centre for Financial Inclusion, integrating financial literacy is important if we are to drive the financial inclusion mandate, which we have been given by the government of Eswatini. You cannot achieve full financial inclusion if Emaswati are not financially literate. So we saw it important that maybe we gather together so that we may decide how best 
we can look into aspects that of financial literacy that may be integrated into the curriculum. Dr. Doris Miani, the curriculum designer for business subjects at the Curriculum Center, expressed their gratitude for such a topic to be introduced in schools. Well, here we are just trying to inculcate skills whereby learners will be able to, to handle money ranging from uh, whatever they get at home and be able to to keep uh, the health habits instead of them going into crime and all that, knowing that money is precious. Passing the knowledge in schools will help achieve a financially literate scholar and grow the economy and in a way reduce the rate of crime. Reporting I'm Kianim Sibirs Muvashongwe at the Mountain View in Babane. A Mozambican national, Louis Kumalo, has reached out to Emma Swad to kindly assist him in locating Tolile Shongwe. Kumalo says a relationship between Shongwe and the deceased Joseph Matola from Mozambique, a child, was born. In the year 1998, Shongwe was residing around Ezuluidim. What necessitated the search for Lamini is that her daughter is eagerly looking for her as she wants to ascertain if she is still alive. Since Kumala does not have a picture of Shongwe, he mentioned that her child, who will be appearing as he narrates the search, resembles her. Those with information that can assist in locating Shongwe can contact or send a WhatsApp message to Kumala on plus 2588488215. Kwendenga loko sifika la musakati nwe titombe. Sifuna lo mungi zazi, liga malaki basi koli ile shongwe. Ngabo 98, 89, 99, ashala ezulini. Wake wa tanjana nilo mungi babi wa si maputu, wa si Joseph Matola. Besi wa shona nga 2004. Mbaga lo pambilini wake wa shia emutuana, usi mngani, liswane rene miyaka ilo mungi. Nyalo, liswane lo kuli lufuna kwa ati inina. Umalisali lotwa. Dito lo asingeza. Funa kwa ati umalumu nina usapila. Noma uya ufile. Dear viewers, now take a look at our financial ad. Welcome back. You're still watching your Swatini TV. And for your sports news, we begin with our sports roundup with cycling, where Alf Esert has sponsored the third edition of the Border to Border Cycling Tour that begins from Gwenya Border to Lavomisa Border on the 10th of June 2023. Eswatini Sports and Recreation Council's representative Zama Tabete, alongside Cycling Association President Zwiti Ngumalo and Alf Esert Marketing Manager Sipon Klabazi also highlighted that the tour is in line with government's initiative of attracting tourists through sports. We begin our sports roundup in cycling where the Alpha SZD company has sponsored the third edition of Border to Border Cycling Tour that begins from Ngwenya Border to the Lavumisa Border. Eswatini Sports and Recreation Council representative Zamat Sabetze alongside Cycling Association President Zwiden Ngomalo and Alpha SCD Marketing Manager Sipon Tlawatsi all highlighted that the tour is in line with the government initiative of attracting different tourists. Sati futi hulmende stambambi sa eguteni emaswazi abe bantu la basale ba pilil. So gula uma sports, gula uma development index sa hulmende tine sa keta nje e-health, sa pinze sa keta ne tourism. Si achabula gelo eguti e-cycling, gula ma sports associations less now, even. Isbambi sega kulu ka kulu, egu contributen gu e-sector yaka tourism. Alpha S14 has been a huge part of the cycling tour since inception. This annual 214-kilometer bicycle ride across the country, which sees cyclists from inside and outside the borders of the Kingdom of Eswatini take on the challenge of cycling from Gwenya Border, Border, Border Post to Lavu Mesa Border Post in one day. This cycling ride is a test of strength, character, grit, and determination. Being sent by Lava Tzalage from Alpha Z is that 
uh, they really wanted us to say that we would like to partner with uh, yourselves for the next three years. Um, but one must say that we are a very strict company. <laughs> uh, it will only depend what we would see as an institution or team, how do you handle yourself. Um, uh, image in a is very important amongst other things. So we would like to actually uh, partner with people that will also promote not just our image, but their image as well. The other tour will be on the 10th of June this year. And in other news, Eswatini Referees Association says that their collaboration with Eswatini Referees Committee has helped them note the unfair judgments that at times has affected the performance of some of the local teams, something that will change come next season. <laughs> Like you go in a machine, Sabona, what's in Wuki, last man, Lumsacon, Silum Sanga Nege, Slum Sanga reports, Labora Palago, Bessie Abu, what's all? Here's a noble commissioner. The commissioner, they are commissioning the referees, what's it? Oh, Lakisha, Lakisha, and then we're working uh, hand in hand with ERC, the referees committee. And in our international news, the UEFA Champions League that has reached the semi finals saw so the defending champions Real Madrid playing a one all draw against Manchester City. Uh, the second game will be between Inter Milan against AC Milan in Milan on Wednesday evening. For certain TV sports, Fabio Sonera. That is all I had for tonight, but before I wrap up, I'll take a quick recap of today's headlines. His Majesty King Mswat III has returned from the United Kingdom. The Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini says the Peace Corps volunteers have helped the country in the fight against HIV and AIDS. The Minister of Education, Lady Howard, has appreciated the partnership that exists between the Ministry of Education, European Union and UNICEF as it yields positive results. That brings us to the end of our news bulletin tonight. Up next is the weather forecast for selected towns. Good night to Swatini.